Welcome to the tutorial videos for Plotter, the number one visual book outlining software, and our series of videos diving into the notes section. In this video, we're going to take a look at categories in the notes section. And in this video, we're going to look at custom categories. I've already created three categories, one for brainstorming, one for themes, and one for houses. But we can edit, add, or delete to these categories as we'd like through the Categories button in the Notes toolbar. When we click on the button, you'll see the three categories we've already created, Brainstorming Theme and Houses. We can add a new category, such as Potential Endings. We can click Enter, and it will add it to the end of the list. We can rearrange the order that the categories will appear on the left-hand side simply by dragging and dropping. And we can always move them back. And when we close and go into the details for one of the notes, under the Categories section in the top right corner, under the drop-down, you'll now see an option for potential endings. And if we click here, we can see at the bottom of our list, it has added this note card under the category of potential endings to better help us organize and understand our notes. And we can add this note card as well. And you can set up your categories in any way that will help you organize your notes for your story. Now if we save and come back to the Categories button in the toolbar, you can delete any category simply by clicking on the X button next to it. So I can delete potential endings. And now when we close, we'll see the two note cards associated with that category have now been moved to the Uncategorized section. And we can put them back to their original categories the same way. That covers custom categories in the notes section of Plotter. If you found the information useful, be sure to give the video a thumbs up and leave any questions in the comments below. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for all our latest information, updates, and tutorials. And I'll see you in the next video.